Binoculars are a handy tool for many different types of travelers, whether you're heading into the bush on safari, out to a dark sky place for some stargazing, or to your local park for some casual birdwatching. Though all binoculars have the same general function, they magnify the scene in front of you, there are certain characteristics to consider for specific uses, ranging from the magnification power to the weight of the device. We asked the experts to share their best tips for shopping for binoculars to help you narrow down the wide selection out there. Hello guys, today in this video we are going to help you find out the best binoculars traveler. In the market, I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality durability customer reviews, and more if you want to see their price and out more information about them you can check our links in the description below. Number 1. Athlon Optics Midas ED The binoculars I use day to day as a professional ornithologist are the Leica Ultravit 8x42 model, which I purchased for around. Yet when I looked through the Athlon Optics Midas ED pair, I could not tell much difference between them and my Leicas, which cost around 10 times as much. What makes the Athlon Midas ED binoculars great? For starters, their brightness. A lot of birding and using binoculars in general involves looking out or up at something much brighter, like the sky, or darker, such as into a dense thicket. Just as your autofocus camera can't figure out how to illuminate something against a bright, or overcast, sky, binoculars may have difficulty mustering the light needed to brighten the distant object you're trying to identify. Also tough is the inverse of this situation, looking into dark, dense vegetation, a situation in which you need all the light-gathering ability the binoculars can give you. Number 2. Celestron Trail Seeker ED Like the Athlon Optics Midas pair, the Celestron Trail Seeker ED binoculars are optically sharp, well-constructed, and easy to focus quickly on the trail. The primary difference in these two sets of binoculars, apart from the Trail Seeker's higher price, is that the Trail Seeker is sized slightly down from the Midas, so if you prefer a smaller grip, this is the pair for you. In its optics, the Celestron Trail Seeker offers a view remarkably similar to that of the Athlons. Both binoculars have crystal clear optics that stay sharp right up to the edges of the field of view. Both also offer excellent views at close range and far range. The Athlon Midas and the Celestron Trail Seeker can focus down to 6.5 feet, so they're ideal for checking out butterflies, plants, and other things on the ground that you might want to approach but not touch. Number 3. Celestron, Skymaster. Telescopes are the go-to observation tool for stargazing, but binoculars are also an option, as some people find it more comfortable to use both eyes rather than just one. For looking at the cosmos, we recommend a pair of binoculars specifically designed for that job, particularly since what you're looking at is much farther away than wildlife or landscapes are. That's why we've selected this model, which has a whopping 25x magnification power with a 100mm objective lens. These are very, very large and heavy binoculars. But because they're so big, they're extremely powerful, and they'll give you great views of objects in the night sky. And if you really wanted to zoom in on a faraway point on the Earth's surface, you can do that, too. Most people who use binoculars for stargazing also mount them on a tripod, so you can opt for higher powered, heavier, and sturdier binoculars within your budget to help you gaze deeper into the solar system and even at some deep space objects, says Valerie Steinmack, founder of Space Tourism Guide. And that's crucial with these behemoths. Number 4. Vortex Optics Viper HD. Binoculars are an essential tool for a safari, as animals don't always approach you out in the bush. That's why we've opted for a higher magnification pair of binoculars to bring the locals, or at least a view of them, closer to you. This model has high-quality optics that allow you to watch wildlife in HD, as well as a durable body that's lightweight, waterproof, fog-proof, and scratch-resistant, all things you want during a safari, as conditions can get challenging at times. 
The one tricky thing about the 10x magnification is that it's easier to use with still targets. That means if lions are on a hunt, it'll be tougher to track them with these binoculars. However, once they've made their kill, you can get up close and personal with the scene, from a safe distance, of course. Vortex also makes the same binoculars with 8x magnification if you prefer a wider field of view, which could be helpful for scenes like river crossings during them. Number 5. High Power Binoculars. If you plan on using your binoculars to take close-up photos and videos, this is a budget-friendly pair with phone and tripod adapters to help you accomplish those goals. The phone adapter allows you to attach your phone to the binoculars with the camera lens lined up with the binocular eyepiece. Once you get the focus down, you can take photos through your binoculars with ease. It's much less difficult than freehanding. Because the magnification is 12x, we do recommend using that tripod to avoid any shakiness that could blur your photos. It's harder to keep higher magnification binoculars still.